Do you hear? Did you hear about the monolith? <laughs> yeah, dude. dude it's the monolith. Wait, yeah. what, what monolith? So apparently, there's been like they call them the monolith. It's like these these like super like um, statues of like a super statue? silver. What bean. is a super statue? <laughs> it's a statue that's super. It's super duper statue. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's like a of what? Like what a is a statue? Metal of? like prism. Like in random so it's, spots. It's like an obelisk? Yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of. But made out of pure silver? I guess. I don't know. But apparently they're appearing around the world just randomly. Like uh, crop circles. I Wait, like Land of the Lost? Yeah. You remember Land of the Lost? <laughs> they had, they had the, at least the movie with Will Ferrell. They had those like, they were literally triangles that are just made out of like basically mirrors. Yeah. Exactly, <laughs> and they would just that's show exactly up. Exactly what open it is, up and you go exactly. inside. Exactly. So that's there hilarious. was a new one that was released that was in Las Vegas, <laughs> and I saw a picture of it, and it literally looks like uh, there's pallet jacks, like someone like is building these monoliths out of like the shittiest material, and they're just like taking pictures of them and like then so moving them somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah, and then just like putting them in some other area because it literally you can see the braces of like. Oh, you see somebody doing it. No, you basically. don't see it, but you see the structure. Like some of them look a little. Uh, Somebody's just trolling. Picture. Somebody's just real yeah. IRL so trolling. You see the picture of it, and you can, from that angle, you can see how like the thickness of it. You can see the braces, yeah. and you can kind of look like they like put some type of material on it. The way it looks reflective yeah, yeah, and stuff. Yeah. But it's I'm really like, it's just some stupid wooden thing. I, I'm. I would bet that there is probably an IRL fucking Twitch channel that you can fucking go follow right now to watch this guy do this shit and just fuck with people. Like, there's that. There's, this is how the internet fucking works. That's man. how it, what it looks like. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's just, it's it been, looks like somebody's just going around fucking with people. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Which so could funny. be misinformation. They just, they put, somebody found one of those, put a fucking little bit of scaffolding next to it and took a picture of it to make you think. Yeah. But really, it's the fucking aliens from Land of the Lost. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good movie. I'll yeah, dude, it is a good movie. We just watched it recently. On our, uh, recently, me and my wife celebrated our, I don't know, whatever, third, fourth anniversary, something like that. Maybe maybe second. I have no idea. But uh, we, we celebrated our anniversary, and we hung out. We uh, Unfortunately, it was flooding on that day, too, so we weren't able to go do exactly what we wanted to do. We got some nice food, you know, fucking hung out, watched movies. Touched, touched each other. Touched. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was just thinking about that earlier. All right, so you introduced me to the term mashed potatoes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so obviously, a lot of shit happened in Vegas, and uh, part of me wants to have a Vegas cast to have the boys that were there, you know, talk about yeah, all the I dumb shit we did in Vegas. It. Yeah, you won't be here, you know. <laughs> um, but, bro. All right. So one of the things that happens in me and my lovely wife's relationship is that she likes to get drunk and she gets a little horny when she's drunk. You know what I mean? It just it's just natural. the way it is, dude. It's a it's natural a, it, thing. I, I've been there. Um uh, I've always but, there. So we're in I'm Vegas. Right now. We're drinking for like fourteen hours a day, dude. We're literally waking up at ten AM, meeting up at the bar, having a couple of drinks and then going and doing whatever we're doing that day. Doing drinking it. the whole yeah, time. My boy. Hell yeah, my boy. <laughs> but no, so this is <laughs> 10 p.m., 11 p.m. Maybe oh. you know we're we're old people. We fucking already had dinner, head to the you know head back to the room. My lady's like, bow, let's. Bow, bow. <laughs> she's like, let's let's me and you have some marital relations, <laughs> you know. Uh, and I'm like, of course, let's go, baby. Um, soon as we start doing it, dude. Soon as we start doing it, fucking just headache, dude. All the fucking water in my body is, just leaves me immediately, dude. It's just fucking like migraine, dude. I was like getting in it literally to the point like uh, i was like i don't care fuck a headache i don't give a shit we're doing it to the point where like literally my eyes are watering up like i'm like about to start crying because my fucking head hurts so goddamn bad it was just like as soon as we started fucking going for it hangover fucking the worst hangover you ever had just hits me fucking dead on dude i was like oh god damn it dude so i go to the fucking <laughs> i literally like go to the shower and just fucking hot water for like an hour dude just fucking <laughs> just chug Jerk water off. chug water <laughs> it is hot water dude just in the fucking in shower crying. <laughs> but then you taught me that uh that term mashed potatoes earlier <laughs> it's like, uh, dude. Yeah. 
That was mashed potatoes, brother. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta mash them. Dude, it was mashed potatoes. It was uh It was the worst mashed potatoes I ever had in my life. Yeah. Been there. <laughs> Been there several times. Because you're in the fucking no desert, all right? No so gravy. all day the desert is just so sucking water out of your body. It was hundred and five degrees every day we were there. Hundred and five, all right. It's the desert. It's the goddamn desert, all right? Um, and literally that day I was like, all right, every time I get an alcohol drink, I'm going to also get water every time. Didn't do it. Got maybe three waters all day. Yeah. And by the end of the day, dude, it was it was not happening. I was drinking shower water, dude. I was like so fucking thirsty. <laughs> I'm telling you, brother. <laughs> I'm telling you. And this is after 14 hours of drinking. This is not regular sober. Even this level of tipsy clint. Right? This is Christ. 14 hours of tequila shots for whatever reason every time no i go water. on vacation and i'm getting free drinks i order vodka and pineapple i'm not sure why but it's delicious it's the worst no it's the best it tastes good but it tastes so good oh it's so bad but guess what <sighs> hangover's coming Bubba. Yeah, yeah. hangover is a coming quick. you're drinking juice and no. liquor Sugar <laughs> mixed <laughs> and liquor not good oh fuck dude oh. <clears throat> but yeah i always do it to myself but we had a good time but Plenty of fucking, you know, one night, you had a bad night one night, you know, you can every, every single night, dude, one night. All right. So we go <laughs> so to, we go to this fucking, all right. So one of the nights and this is the same night. All right. So earlier in that night we go to fucking, uh, and the craziest thing about Vegas, sorry, before I explain the entire events, the craziest thing about Vegas is literally you go outside at nighttime. So the sun's gone and you're in this dry environment. So you would think that the, like everything temperature would, would, temperature would drop. But it doesn't. It does if the wind's not blowing. If the wind's not blowing, everything cools off. But if the wind's blowing, you're just catching like hot sand. Like it's literally like being in a fucking like like a hair dryer. It's like getting a hair dryer just oh. blowing in your face. It's just like all the concrete hot, dry sidewalks. fucking air all day. But anyways, hot, humid air. <clears throat> yeah, never go to Vegas in the summer, dude. It's the rates, everything super cheap, dude. And now I know why. Cause it's too hot in the middle of the desert, in fucking Vegas. Well, I mean, can't you just walk around with the yeah. mankini on? You can, but that's the thing. You think mankini, it's gonna work out. That's because you live in a humid climate. This is the driest climate. That means your entire body is gonna dry up. Like all of the any kind of Bring water on powder. the surface, any kind of anything Outer is up, just baby. gonna baby. So you powder. just have to drink water, a bunch of water. Just walk in. Just <laughs> if anything, what you do is all powder. No, dude, you hit it with baby oil. Because water and oil don't mix, so the water will stay in, and you just oiled up. We saw this one guy by the pool, dude. He was like, this guy was fucking full-on teriyaki beef jerky, dude. Oh. Like, he was... <laughs> Sounds he, delicious. He was full-on, like... He was a white guy, and he was just in full-on blackface, just using only the sun. <laughs> didn't <laughs> like, want to be. Didn't want to yeah, be. Yeah, didn't want... I mean, he wanted to be. <laughs> he, that's a thing. He's clearly just like a casino bro, because he was just, just like... With those visors. With the, <laughs> he looked like a dude... <laughs> he looked like a dude who took steroids. Like, you know, he's just constantly taking ago. cycles, and has never actually worked out one time. <laughs> he's just like Johnny Bravo. He's just all chest, you know, and then beer, fat ass beer yeah, belly. Where's dude. the weight room? No at? legs, you know, like not even like really built arms, but Walks just past the all room. body, dude. Just <laughs> all fucking body. But yeah. But anyway, so that night we went to the fucking, uh, I forget what it was called. Um, the Something about like a cat, something about some fucking pussy bar. We go to some pussy bar, coyote ugly. and it's fucking. It's not coyote. Coyote. It's not coyote ugly. We tried to go there, and it was closed because we were there on a Tuesday. <laughs> it shouldn't be open. No, it's not, dude. It's well, we not were gonna go in there, and yeah, we we're gonna fucking. How is it not open on a Tuesday? I was gonna go in there with a bunch of sticks and try to trip girls while mm-hmm. they're on the bar while they're trying to dance. Gay. Yep. Um. But anyways, that place was closed. But we go to the fucking karaoke bar, right? Some karaoke bar in Vegas. And fucking shout out Christine. Christine wanted to sing a song, but she was scared. So I had to sing a song too. I saw. You saw it? Yeah. I saw, saw the video. video. We'll probably put it up right here. Yeah. Yeah. Let's freeze. And that was the video of us, uh, me singing. But uh, so I sing. You sang, knew every w- word of that song. You didn't even need the teleprompter, what? did you? What? The Creed song? Yeah. Okay. So first, here's what happens, <laughs> all right? I sing, I sing the first song. 
Modest Mouse. What's the one Modest Mouse song that they're going to have at karaoke? Float on. Float on, dude. So I get up there. I back my car. I fucking kill it, right? The drummer. like, And I Where's even like shout video? it out. Because it was like a... It was, it's actually a genius idea, honestly. So it's karaoke, but there's a live drummer there. So the drummer is actually playing the beat to the song the yeah. the whole time, and it actually like adds something to the music. And it, like I don't know, I it seems like a genius. Like regular karaoke is what it is, but music. to have somebody that's like live playing the music with you, like I don't know, it's just I'm in a band, so I guess it yeah. just it just made it feel Added more like a real it. performance. Yeah. It, it wasn't just I'm standing on the stage standing, so I'm just fucking hopping around, just fucking singing the whole song and everything. And then Christine comes up. She sings her song. And it was funny because it was like shift change. I sang my song. And then the one, d- the guy who was playing drums the whole time, he went from being the drummer guy the to the MC. Yeah. Not the DJ, but there was like a guy who was like, you know, taking requests or taking, you know, the, you know, whatever. You who you signed up with one guy who was like actually playing all the music. But either way, the drummer guy or whatever, he was a cool ass fucking dude. I can't remember his shit now. I think it was like MC Fang or something like that. I don't know. Shout out to that fucking guy. He follows us on our uh, band page, on the Beachside Vibe band page. I was hell like, yeah. yeah, dude, you're sick. And he was like, we were just talking where he's like, I love Modest Mouse. I was like, hell yeah, dude. I'm in a band in Houston. We always play Modest Mouse songs. He's like, fuck yeah, dude. And I was like, and he was like, yeah, dude, my band's coming to Houston. I was like, when? And he was like, October. I was like, Hit me up, dude. And I fucking gave him our the our Instagram or whatever. Right. But I had the fucking Beachside Vibes Instagram put uh. up. So he's friends with Beachside Vibes. Uh. But either way, we can talk to him, whatever. <clears throat> In October. We'll try to get on with this shit. If not, we'll we'll go hang out with him and shit. He, it was a cool dude. Yeah. Anyways, regardless. And then after He'd that be our backup drummer when Calvi So after like, I sing the first song, Christine sings. And then I'm like, all right, let's sing another song. And Christine's like, oh, I don't know, I don't know. I was like, I'm going to go sign up for another song because she wouldn't sign up for the first one until I signed up. So I went and signed up for another song. She didn't sign up for another goddamn Damn. song. And I was like, ta- it, it's funny. Before we went out to the karaoke bar, we were sitting at the bar at the fucking uh, casino. And Tom's just sitting there and he's just like so mad, dude. He's just like, Por qué? because Christine was like, we're going to a karaoke bar. If you don't want to go, I don't care. Like, uh, I'm going to karaoke bar. And I'm like, ah, fucking Kristen was like, yeah, I I am too. I was like, damn it. All right, that means I have to go. And I'm looking over at Tom, and he's just like, I just want to fucking play roulette and chill at the casino. <laughs> like, why the fuck are we doing this? But either way, so we go to the fucking thing. Um, But either way, so I was trying to get Christine to sign up for another song, and she didn't. But I look at Tom, and he's still, he's having a better time. And he was like, dude, you killed it. You know, and he's telling me how great of a musician I am, which obviously everybody knows I am. Obviously. But, um, yeah great singer you know they call me the songbird of my generation let's let's hear uh, it anyway i look over i'm like dude what would cheer up tom right now i was like creed tom loves creed dude (laughs) he fucking loves creed so then (laughs) i look up creed and i see my sacrifice and in my head i'm seeing like i'm thinking like i think arms wide open right it's like your sacrifice like we're out to her yeah, the new, like I'll fuck around and sing that song at band practice just because that's like the one Creed song I think of. But I see my sacrifice. I think it's the same song, and I fucking go sign up to sing it because I'm just like I'm just gonna <laughs> you know I'm just fucking around. I'll just say whatever, fucking Tom. And I fucking look at the lyrics. I'm like, what the fuck is this, dude? Like, I don't know my sacrifice, <laughs> dude. I really don't. And then I get up on stage. I start fucking singing it. It starts off with like. Hello, my friend, we'll meet again. Yeah. It's been a while. Oh, and nice. immediately, I know every single fucking <laughs> word to this whole song. I'm like, damn it, it just dude. comes back. Damn it. <laughs> but Those I did car it. rides when in got, your mom's car. When I got on stage, that's what I said. I was like, all right, guys. This it was like this song will bring you back to riding around in the minivan with your mom. <laughs> <laughs> and the song started. <laughs> but yeah, dude. It's so good. Nailed it. My sacrifice. Brown, no, 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 and I was like, <laughs> Chris, and Chris, my wife told me even afterwards, she was like, the drummer was getting so into that Creed yeah. song, he was like, <laughs> you know, like he was like fucking, he was digging it. But then afterwards, that's when we exchanged information and shit. But no, he's a cool dude. I don't know his real name, but I think that was his name, MC Fang. So well, shout out MC Fang at the pussy fucking karaoke place. Play a show with you. Yep. If Clint will reach out to you. Yeah. In his busy he's, supposed to be in, he's supposed to be in town in October. I'll see what the deal is. I don't know what that means. I don't know what his band is. I have no idea. No? Mm. But uh, it was funny, dude. Okay, so when we go to the karaoke... So before, sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. But no. when we go to the karaoke place, dude. All right. So shout out to our boy, Mark. 
the guy that was running the early mic, like the early karaoke, that dude reminded me of Mark so much. Because, you know, Mark's our boy, and he loves two things, all right? H-Town, hip-hop, and The Doors, all right? Jim Morrison. Yeah, he will scream those two things at the top of his lungs. I found Mark in Vegas, but he just felt that way about Cher. <laughs> <laughs> But he was the exact same. He kind of looked like him, shorter dude, dark hair. Fucking, and he was just like, Do you believe in love after love after love after love? I can feel something. And he was just fucking, he literally had a bar stool and just that fucking one little spotlight on him. And this whole stage was dark. He's like, Do you believe? Like, they're just fucking going so just hard. Just so emotional. <laughs> and it kind of looked like our own boy, Mark. <laughs> so shout out, Mark, dude. But it, That's God, Mark is very it. emotional. <laughs> I know, he dude. He was feeling every <laughs> note of every, every fucking note, song. Every song, just every <laughs> vibration. Just, <laughs> yeah. Uh, dude, it made me so fucking happy, dude. Anyways, that's that's part one of Vegas. All right, yeah. we're gonna have a full Vegas cast because yeah. we had, dude, we did so much shit. We had so much fun. I have so many questions. What? Ask me a question. We can. This is part no, one. No, no, this no. It's Vegas part one. No. Well, don't you have some some clicker notes, dude? Every time I finish the story, you're like, "Don't you have notes?" That was one of my notes, bro. Okay, the whole perfect. fucking karaoke story. Obviously, that was part of my notes. Oh, I couldn't tell. Yep. All right, here I got one note for you. <laughs> God damn it. All right. You know, they say that, like, rapists, they come in all shapes and sizes. Shapes and sizes? Yeah, they come in all shapes and sizes, which is crazy. You think they just go after the hot chicks. (laughs) It's a dumb joke I came up with. Yeah. That's all I got. (laughs) It's like a crayon box, you know. Different colors mixed in there. (laughs) You know, maybe the white one's used up. It's a little shorter. But that brown one's brand new. Damn right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My bad, dude. Sorry, I tried to joke, dude. Sorry, I tried to joke. Um, yeah. No. You don't have any Keep notes, bitch? Keep it going. That's it? No, That's no. The, that was the joke. No. That was you the joke. All right, you want, you want yeah, another joke? Jokes. You didn't like that one? Hit me. Did you not understand it? I did understand it. Do you need me to fucking paraphrase? Yeah, you need me to like <laughs> rework that. Oh, yeah. oh, that was that was making me laugh the other day. All right, so <laughs> it re- like I don't know, I just something that was cracking me up or whatever was like, all right, it's like a super gay guy, you know, like a fucking like turbo gay, you know, the most effeminate guy, you know, like lo- watching porn like with some bros. It's maybe like a skit idea or something like that, but like a super gay guy and be like. Oh my god, her pussy is so cute. <laughs> Look how cute her pussy is. <laughs> I don't know, that just made me laugh. <laughs> yeah, just really critiquing on the porn. Yeah, and just like, oh my god. You're just trying to enjoy it. And no, like, but just like only like trying to like hyper like you know, closet gay guy, I guess. But just hyper focusing on the girl. You know, just like, oh my gosh, look at her huge tits. Oh my god, boys. Boys, oh my gosh, look at her tits. Oh, they're so fucking like magical. You know, like just not knowing the right fucking (laughs) adjectives to use. Like, Like, it's like, oh, dude, that pussy is so cute. Oh my gosh. Her neck is so hot. (laughs) Oh my gosh, look how bad, why is she spreading her butthole? (laughs) So hot. So fucking like super cute <laughs> so cute that's it that's all i got that's my joke that's clinch joke corner for this week <laughs> clinch joke corner right. yeah dude xander never gives me shit dude no if you like the stupid jokes that i got especially my rapist joke <laughs> clint's got all kinds of jokes all right dude so like uh, here's <laughs> sorry I laugh at myself, and then my joke's not as funny as I think it is, so then it makes <laughs> me fine. feel bad no, on the it's inside. It's fine. No. Um, but all right, so we do a reboot of The Parent Trap, right? Nice. But this time, it's just a boy who transes into a girl and tricks his dad into fucking him. <laughs> it's The Parent Trap. <laughs> no? <laughs> Trap's another uh, word for a trans person who tricks you into know. thinking that they're... <laughs> You probably get some sponsors for that. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I, I think we could do this. You probably do it. The Disney Channel presents the Parent Trap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Run it. That's it. That's all I got, dude. Cool. All right, I got more. 
Hold on. <laughs> Keep going. Oh, yeah, dude. It's crazy. Like, all right. So they have, like, separate jail. You know, like, they have, like, juvenile prisons and shit like that. Like, separate jails for little kids. Oh, yeah. And that's, like, protect the kids so they don't get, like, you know. Harm. From, like, the prisoners, yeah. right? Age difference. But that really doesn't actually make any sense because, like, the last, like, prisoners, the biggest thing they fucking hate is, like, people who molest children or, like, and, like if you kill your kid and then go to prison, they're going to kill you. So there's really no need for, like, a separate prison for, you know, kids. You could just put them in there with hardened criminals, <laughs> and they would just protect the kids because that's what that's like part of their prisoner's code. Yo, it's, it's my twins. That's what I'm saying. Well, I'm just saying that some guy goes in and tries to fuck one of the little boys that's in the prison with you. Like everybody would just stab that guy, right? <laughs> yeah. They don't let that shit fly. No, man. It'd be the safest. No prison. need. There's no need for child prisons. Just stuff them in there with the adults. Uh, daycare. Let's just open daycare for prisons. Well, I'm saying like bad kids who like did something bad. Oh, bad kids. Yeah, like a kid, like juvenile prisons. You know, like a kid oh, okay. that fucking whatever stole a fucking Lamborghini and crashed it into a fucking boat or something. We'll let uh, Poppy be his dad for six exactly, months. dude. Just let him fucking go in with the fucking real, <laughs> the real hardcore motherfuckers. <laughs> They're not gonna get fucked or killed or anything. Prisoners do not like that shit. No. They fucking hate that. Just shit. saying. No they need for it. child prisoners. It's not exactly a joke, it's just an observation, I mean. So it's like uh, a Jerry Seinfeld. What is up with child's prisons? Uh, what's the deal? <laughs> yeah, what's the deal with kid <laughs> prisons? <laughs> um, I mean, these prisoners say they hate people who fuck or kill children or beat them up or whatever, so there's no need for it. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a new there's a new study saying that we're eating our burgers up the wrong side instead of excuse me one more time in english please there's a new study saying that we're eating our burgers wrong who made this study some was it an american yeah so apparently, if you flip the burger upside down, you get more meat to patty ratio, depending on the bite size. Because you're biting. No, you mean more, toppings? You're, you're bite, saying we put all the toppings on the top and then we bi- eat the bottom. You use your bottom jaw to bite, right? Yeah. So <laughs> yes, when you go from the bottom to bite, it's a smaller, it's a thinner bun. So if you turn the bun upside down. It's a thicker bun. So when you go to bite, your bottom jaw's taking more bun. I think I understand the argument, and I think that maybe you don't, even though you just introduced it to me. It would be the toppings that you're trying to get the flavors from, right? It's not the fucking bun. It's the patty to bun ratio. There could be as many toppings as you want. <laughs> as soon as I bring something up, it's bullshit, but... Well... Clint left again, again to be. Well, we're gonna have to cut that. Um, I got a few jokes here. Let's let's go back. Um, so recently used to smoke a lot of weed. Used to. <laughs> recently, I found out you totally forget your dreams after you smoke weed, Clint. He's back again. But the question is, why would you want a higher bun to burger ratio? Well, why would you want more bread to meat? No, it has to be an even ratio. So you're saying that that's the, the ratio. The issue is that the bottom bun is just too thin. If you actually thicken that boy up a little bit, then we wouldn't even need to flip our burgers anymore. Exactly. And this is the shit the government doesn't want you knowing about, yeah. dude. Well, you're trying to hide this shit. Now from you're in the hot spot. So, let's tell you, let's talk about some more stuff that happened. <laughs> oh, okay. So recently, <laughs> so recently, my uh, autocorrect. I keep trying to type the word honky, and it ne- just never works out properly. Like, it changes the word from honky to hockey. Even like if I do like talk to text or whatever. 
Always. If I say honky, it changes it to hockey. And it used to piss me off a bunch, but then I thought about it. I was like, honestly, I kind of conveys the same information <laughs> i'm like yo i'm heading to this honky's house if it says hockey it's i mean we're talking about a white guy right <laughs> this hockey so i feel like we could probably replace the word honky with hockey and really not miss a beat that's just me what do i know um what other shit do i have on my stupid phone okay dude here's a fun fact i learned so in world war Two. They had these landmines, right? And the way the landmine worked is, like, you would step on it, and it wouldn't, like, just blow up your foot. You know, like, the way you think of it, it's like you step on a landmine, and it's just in the ground, and it blows up your foot. That's not how landmines worked for certain, you know, factions in World War II. What they had was it was a landmine, and it was set on a base, and it was on a spring. So you would step on it, and then you would take your next step, and it wouldn't just blow off your foot. What it would do is it would bounce fucking to three feet in the air it was like based on a spring so it would bounce up to like your vital organs level right but if you're a tall dude you know you you're a tall guy up. if you're seven foot mine comes up and just blows your dick off <laughs> that's the only thing that happens. you just boom, ah! you don't need pre-op yeah you're, you're going straight, straight. <laughs> yeah dude you're going straight to straight to cnn <laughs> <laughs> straight to the democratic party dude <laughs> But yeah, dude, that's crazy. In World War Two, I think it was Germ- maybe German. So bombs. I'm not sure. So we're we're reaching up on an hour. I got a few. Uh, we're going to a new segment. Oh, Clint defines. Clint defines. Yeah, understood. Um, got a few. Um, some words here. Um, we're gonna start it off. It's pretty easy, you know. Context clues. Premature articulation premature articulation yeah so that when you like cut somebody off to correct them before you even know yeah. what they're actually saying yeah correct yeah i do correct. that all the time dude. I'm <laughs> yeah. a premature articulator dude. this is the live broadcast uh, <laughs> hey, premature, premature articulator no no no. but me personally I'm a premature. <laughs> yeah, yeah i do that all the fucking time dude That's sorry, why sorry to my down. wife my mom and also xander because <laughs> yeah. i do it all the fucking time <laughs> uh ceiling titty ceiling titty well i've actually had these when i was a little kid yeah. dude so it's when the ceiling starts to bubble down and it looks like a titty <laughs> it's like if the rain's getting into the house and the roof starts to bubble in and then like right now we have this like nipple shaped that's a nice ceiling net, titty dude. so if we could just get this entire ceiling to just sag real hard we would get a ceiling let's go titty. bust a hole in the roof yeah let's do it <laughs> you know what no Here's what we'll do. That's we'll go outside and though. we'll see who can shoot straight up and down the best. And <laughs> we'll see who can get one to land right in the house. <laughs> a ceiling titty is a light fixture. That is a ceiling titty. <laughs> yeah, that looks exactly uh, like a titty. 100%. 100%. Look, yeah. we'll, get are, we'll get a picture the of nipples that. Nipples are erect. Anyways, um, <laughs> alligator pair. What is it? What could that mean, Clint? Define. An I didn't hear what race. you said since you told alligator. me there's a tit in the ceiling. <laughs> I mean, look at those. Tit. Dude, listen. Tit. I love titties, you guys. Titties. No, this stuff look doesn't look like tits. That, that's kind of an oblong titty. No, nope. but but that thing. Uh, that's <laughs> that's nice. a titty, dude. I have I them all over nice. my house. Um, I'll take pictures of all of them and put them on the end on, on Pornhub. Um. Next, alligator pair. Alligator pair. <laughs> alligator pair. Yeah. <laughs> an alligator pair. Yeah. So, an alligator pair. Hey, you gonna you're gonna use... have to. Get, you're gonna have to right, give I'll, me some I'll, content, I'll, some I'll kind of in, clue. I'll, I'll put it in a sentence. Okay. Hmm. Hey, now you gonna use them alligator pairs to make that guacamole? <laughs> <laughs> that feels i feel more lost now than before you said that um so i would assume that an alligator pair is obviously some pointy titties I don't know, dude. <laughs> it's a fucking crusty scaly grimy 200 year old titties um it's, it's it's a cajun word for an avocado <laughs> oh, okay alligator tits i understand alligator pair guacamole alligator pair i said guac do you like my cajun accent you know what now that I, actually I'm putting it all together in my head, an alligator pear, not a pear, P A I R, P E A R, pear like the fruit. Yeah, like the fruit. Yeah, alligator pear. That makes yeah. sense actually. 
And knowledge um, is power. Next one's you're going to love. And then hit it with the the more you know, the fucking reading yeah. rainbow. It's fine. Continue. Um, You'll see it in Nature's post. pocket. Nature's pocket? That is a vagina. Obviously. Oh, no, no, no. Pocket? Is it back pocket? <laughs> <laughs> That's nature's butthole. <laughs> Butthole. Butthole. <laughs> Nature's pocket, yeah. Nature's pocket is That's the right. butthole. That's right. Oh, I did know um, that, Also, I know another that. fine term, prison wallet. Yeah. Prison wallet. We've covered that. Yep. Yep. But this is, I guess, the newest term, nature's pocket. Nature pocket. It's always revolving, guys. The, the, the That's when you put a days. granola bar in your butt. It's nature's pocket. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're out in nature. You know, there's a little a honey, honey fucking cinnamon or oh, whatever it is. It's right. delicious. Nature's um, pocket. Nature's valley in my nature's floor pocket. Drobe. Floor drobe. Floor yeah. Oh, that's when you get naked. That's <laughs> no, your clothes on the floor. It's literally when you have shelving on the floor. <laughs> oh, okay. Floor drobe. I would think my floor drobe is like the moment before we're doing it. <laughs> just strip butt naked. Like if you take, like, let's say you're a naked man with a robe on. You take that robe off. The second that robe hits the floor, that's your floor naked drobe. Naked man. Well, on occasion, I've been a naked man. <laughs> Well, I was actually born a naked man. <laughs> I was born a naked woman. Yeah. Jesus made me a naked man. <laughs> and then my dick fell off. Yep. And then my dick grew. Did it? Somewhere else, though. Not All right, folks. Fell off first and then it grew <laughs> somewhere else. That's an hour. <laughs> well, welcome back to Stories our regular every once a week podcast. Yep. Um I'm supposed to at least have double them, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Our, our, we're gonna make some uh, more shorts there'll be more tur boys and tur girls out yeah, there. yeah they're gonna be out there guys every time we make shorts we get leave a comment if you want some more tur boys yeah guests yeah dude we'll we fucking skype guests. you guys in please come on the cast <laughs> nah but we should definitely have a vegas cast and whatever we'll talk about this off screen but uh shout out to all the tur boys and tur girls out there um uh, suck a dick xander's gay hurricane barrel sex bitch hurricane barrel coming for you oh where in barrel all right, so this is what I was thinking about. All right, All right hurricane stuff, right? So you ever think about like how everybody who's around, you know, we're in Houston, Texas, one of the largest cities in the world. Kind of. And everybody goes, please, Jesus, send that hurricane somewhere else. Send it down to Panama. But do you realize how much worse it would be for the people <laughs> that live in like the shanty towns <laughs> like, how much worse it is for people who are like, like they got no warning yeah dude <laughs> they're just like, like, oh, shit, shit's and even if they know it's coming their house is literally built out of yeah. a refrigerator yeah. so like multiple refrigerator shells yeah. you know just stuff together like those people are gonna get so much worse. like a category one hurricane go ahead and roll into galveston everybody will be okay we'll break a couple windows everything will be fine like there are entire villages. If we'll they catch power. hurricane, they're fucking dead forever. We won't like, have that's internet it. for a few days. They'll, it'll cause a mudslide that will just ruin yeah. an entire fucking it'll village. It'll devastate our internet connection for a few days. <laughs> yeah, dude, literally, you won't be able to watch porn for <laughs> yeah, two days. Yeah. You'll have to talk to your fucking yeah, loved ones instead wife, of dude. fucking staring at your phone for yeah. two days. But whatever. It is what it is. Go, America. Bro. Signing off. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>